Hey there, everyone. Welcome to a Facebook Live with Rhonda. I have you guys not in my um, holder yet because I want to show you something before we get started. Although, let's see here. All right. I'm gonna turn you around so you can see what's going on today. It's always fun to kind of see. This is what you're gonna see is just me and what's behind me, but it's kind of fun to see what's what's going on. I'm just pushing some buttons here to see what works, right? So look at all those boxes. Isn't that so fun? Um, these are, we're getting ready for the uh, Halloween um, stamp camp. It is the prettiest Halloween projects ever. Um, so we got all these boxes are waiting to get filled. How fun, hello, good to see you guys. So we're taking a little break from our stuffing. There's a little presents for them. And this is all the packages have been cut, all prepped, ready to go. Everybody gets the beautiful ribbon and rhinestones. And of course, look at that black sparkly paper. Is that not the best? But this is definitely the prettiest Halloween paper ever. So that's what we have going on right now. And then of course, over here we have lots of little extra goodies that people could add on. We did a couple more classes as well. So hello there. And then of course we got postage station, lots of shipping. All right, so I'm gonna take you back now to me. I just wanted to start for a second and show you. I think it's so cool that process of um, that process of packing and stuffing and doing all of that. So now I'm gonna put you guys up in my holder. All right, and so today you're gonna be this direction just because um, once you start a Facebook Live, you really shouldn't flip directions. It goes wonky on you. So I am gonna put you in the holder. There. Okay, so good to see you guys. Thanks for joining me for a lunch break with Rhonda. Um, Arlena was there stuffing all of those boxes, but she legit did go take a lunch break. Whenever I do these lunch break Facebook Lives, she actually goes and takes a lunch break. So um, she'll be popping back in here. She'll be actually probably stuffing that here while I'm, while I'm working. So today I'm going to show you a, a, a really cute, quick and easy gift card holder. We always need them. Like, I, I know I always need gift cards to, do, to give for gifts, Christmas gifts, for birthdays, wedding gifts. Because a gift card holder, you can also just fold up money and tuck money in instead if you want to give money instead of a gift card. So, um, hello everybody. I love seeing you pop on here. Okay, so something else happened today that I'm really excited about. Um, I uh, announced, we've been working on it behind the scenes for a little while, there is a really awesome, brand new, well, they opened up about, uh, during the pandemic, they opened up, their opening day was supposed to be April 3rd, which that was when we were completely shut down. So she had, they had to put push their opening up. So anyway, we have a brand new, beautiful boutique and coffee studio um, shop here in Langsburg. And it's just incredible. It's so beautiful inside. And the, the coffee and the food is all like natural and organic. And it is just like all homemade. It's beautiful. So anyway, I've been uh, working with her and we are with Jessica and we are going to offer a, a card class there. And we've decided we were gonna jump right into Christmas. But then when I got there, they had like pumpkin spice coffee and lattes. And I was like, oh, I'm so in the mood for pumpkins. So instead we decided to do like a pumpkin harvest theme card class. So I am going to be doing it online as well because I know many of my customers are all over the country. But if you are in Michigan, I mean, it's like gonna be worth the drive. So if you're even like an hour, an hour and a half away, cause you're not only gonna get to do card making, you're also going to get to, you know, order. They have actually, obviously coffee, iced coffee, all kinds of drinks and desserts. And they're gonna be doing a lot of pumpkin themed, like baked goodies. But she also has a beautiful boutique next door that sells clothes and jewelry and shoes and signs, all kinds of really awesome stuff. So anyway, let's go at that. I'm gonna, um, I, 
I will post the information on it as well. And, okay, we're gonna get started. Hopefully things are not gonna be, anyway, here's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make these super cute cards. I think I made this one yesterday. So, oh no, I didn't. No, I didn't, but this is something similar. So this is using the apple punch and making a pumpkin out of it. This is the one I made yesterday. So we're gonna be making this card that we made. Oh, thank you, see? I love your hearts. Your hearts just make my day. And then this one is really beautiful. It's actually stamped on that In Good Taste paper. And then this one, gathered Together. Whoops, I'm going, like, I'm not used to doing this again. So those, you're gonna make those four cards and you're gonna make two of each of them. So you're gonna make eight. So I am also gonna offer it to go. I'll offer it online. I haven't done the event yet, but the live one is on October 8th. Space is limited because they do have to do social distancing and we have to you know, have a, a little bit more. So I think it's limited to only 20 people that can attend it. All right, I think lots of our friends are on here. So I'm gonna point you down so we can work on today's project. And as always, I thank you for your hearts and your sharing. I love it when you share, obviously this video and uh, this time with me, this little lunch break time. All right, I'm just gonna turn you down I have you going a different direction, so I don't have this set up usually how I normally do. All right, that's pretty good. We got a pretty good work surface here. All right, so what we're gonna be using is designer series paper. This is the poinsettia paper. I used this the other day. Remember when we made this box a couple days, oh gosh, a couple days ago we made this box. So um, we use that same beautiful poinsettia paper and this pack is in there too. So um, that it's like this is, but this is like hollies, holly and holly berries are beautiful. But it's that same pack. What's the poinsettia? I'm gonna show you because I know you guys. People always ask me where is it at. It's in the holiday catalog, the little mini catalog. And let's see, it is. We have this beautiful poinsettia, like whole suite. So. The sweet is definitely one of the best ways to go because then you get like everything. But here's the paper. It's called Points at a Place, designer series paper. It's only $11.50 and you get 12 sheets. So awesome stuff. That's what we're gonna be using. And we're going to cut it to four by nine and five eighths. So I know that's a little, and I will post all of these measurements as well afterwards up in the description. So that way you can, um, copy it and make this because obviously that makes me super happy. So nine and five eighths and it's four inches across. So you can get three of these out of a pack of, um, out of one piece of paper. So I love that like this. So a whole sheet of paper is about a dollar if you add on your shipping and your tax. And then if you can get three out of it, a thing. So you can buy gift card holders, right? But they're like three, four, five dollars a piece. So this one, I mean, it's gonna cost you just, you know, maybe less than a dollar to make one of these. All right, so next we have to score this. So you need to get out your scoring tool. Um, I love our paper trimmer because the scoring tool is built right in there. So you wanna make sure you're using your scoring one. And this is gonna be a Christmas, but I, I wanna make one for birthday too. So I think I'm gonna do a birthday one and I'll stick it on my YouTube channel later. Um, but we're going to do score this at one and three quarters. I'm going off of Michelle's measurements, just so you know. So I hope Michelle did this correctly. So one and three quarters, and then four and a half, and five and three quarters, and seven. All right, so again, I will post all of these. I will post them all afterwards. Okay, then you also need a strip of a real red. This is gonna be our, like our belly band. And this is one is a one and a half inch strip. So, um, and I don't, let's see how long it is. It's one and a half by like seven, seven, one and a half by seven. All right, so next we're going to, um, we're going to take our little uh, piece of paper here and we are going, well, let me show you what we're gonna make. I think it helps to see things, right? So we are going to um, make this little gift card. So we're gonna have like a little, oops, let's get the glare away. We're going to have a belly band that is going to wrap around it. So it looks just like a little present, doesn't it? It's so sweet, like a little sweet, little sweet present. 
So um, I'm gonna try to get that glare away. There we go. And this just, the belly band is gonna pull off. And then you have this really awesome little open and inside is gonna hold a gift card. So I actually brought one here too. So I can show you that it's gonna slip right inside there. So you could be a little gift card holder. All right, so let's go ahead and fold along these edges. And let's see here, it goes up and down and then back up. Okay, so you created like a little accordion. Can you see that? So what I'm gonna do is you need to glue very, very good. I would actually, so you wanna use Stampin' Seal Plus and I'm gonna glue that accordion together. I'm only gonna put glue here along the edges because um, I may add glue at the bottom, but you wanna make sure you're not gluing too far up. So really, it's just those edges are all you need. Isn't that cute? So we created this and I glue down just those, just the edges right here. And then I want, the next thing you should do, this is I think very helpful, is I take my actual gift card and I'm gonna put it down where I want it to go. And then I'm gonna take a pencil. I think I have a pencil in here, I do. I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna mark where my gift card is. That way, when I punch out this little, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna punch out like a little slit there. I wanna make sure it's big enough that is going, that my, um, my gift card is going to fit. Do you guys give a lot of gift cards? I, I give a, um, I love doing like, like little coffee gift cards or Subway gift cards, things like that, because obviously I'm next to a Subway. Um, but I also do give cash a lot for birthday presents. Um, teenagers always love money. So this is a great place. You could just tuck money in as well. All right, so the next thing you need is our classic label punch. This is a punch, obviously, to make cute little labels, but look how it's also useful for this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and look for my little mark that I did, and I'm just gonna go right outside of that, and I'm going to um, punch that. Can you guys see? I just lined up, but I'm not, I don't, not punching all of it, just the, I wanna get the, um, I'm gonna punch the fold. Okay, see there, and get rid of that. And then I'm gonna line up, again, I found my other little mark, and so I'm gonna line up my pencil mark here, and I'm also gonna line up where I punched that there. So I wanna make sure I just keep on punching right along. So this is gonna create like this perfect little slit. So I'm gonna go there and then punch. Whoops, I moved my hand. This is the only part that's, it's not tricky. It's not hard, you just gotta be patient. So I got it lined up right and I'll punch that. Then there, now I have this perfect, if I measure it correctly, I should have this perfect little slit that is going to hold my gift card. And I got it just, per I got it a little bit too perfect. There we go, it fit. Look at that. Okay, so, how cool was that? Like it just, so now it opens up like a little book and then there is this really quick and cute way to have a gift card in there. So thank you guys all for being here. I see lots of you on and hopefully we're having a fun lunch break together. And this is a project you guys can all make and duplicate and I would love to see your version as well. So now we're going to decorate this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just wrap around a belly band. So this is that one and a half inch strip it's by seven, so you could do it by seven, by, you know, six and a half is probably plenty too. So I just wrap that around, so then it makes this more like a present, and then we just have to decorate it, right? So let's see, I already did a couple things just to make today go a little bit easier. The first thing I want to do, let's decorate the outside. So this is gonna be a shocker for all of you, but I am using the Stitched So Sweetly dies, of course. But these are totally different than the ones I used yesterday. Yesterday, remember yesterday I made this card? And I, this is a, it's like a scallop, um, whoops, here we go. It's like a scallop, like label, right? It's awesome. But then, so that's from the Stitch So Sweetly Dies, and then so are these. And these layer together, these layer together perfectly as well. So um, let's go ahead and do our stamping. The stamp set we're gonna use is Wrapped in Christmas. I've been using this stamp set a lot. It's the featured stamp set that I have a part of my um, convention that I'm running. So it is, oh look, I already have the stamps even on the blocks. 
sweet. I'm gonna take an old olive stamp pad. I'm only using just old olive. Obviously, you could use real red too. But this is a Christmas one I'm making, so it's very Christmassy colors. And we're going to stamp friends and family are the truest gifts of Christmas. So I pushed a little bit too hard. I'm gonna try again on the other side. Much better. And then that is going to get glued down to, look, glue down our mistakes. I love that. And that's gonna get glued down right here to this piece. See, so I just went ahead and layered it. It should be layered, there you go, layered nicely. That's what I love about this. Then um, we're taking the gilded, the gilded gems. All right, we've had these, um, I think since last uh, September. They were a specialty item, but then obviously they um, they made it over to the catalog. I love them. They're gold, but really they go, I've seen them with like champagne. I've seen them with copper. I've seen them with brass. They match any metallics. They kind of take on, I've even seen them with silver. They take on like a, almost a metallic look. Um, Linda said, I talked you into the stitch so sweetly dies. I better have because I use those so much, obviously. And I love them. I, I'm, I'm like, that's, that's, I love them. They're my favorite right now. So then I'm going to take my dimensionals and stick those on the belly band. And then there, now we just put our little label on the front. Look at that. So sweet. So simple. Um, I need one more dimensional got a little bit too much of a lift to it and hey you guys I want you guys to make this in like um, a birthday format to uh, someone who's getting married you can make a wedding one I bet you can make a beautiful one beautiful wedding one okay so then you're gonna remember you pull off the belly band and then you open it up and then for those of you I see who are just joining us, then you have your little um, your gift card there and then you just need to, I'm gonna put a piece of very vanilla in here and I'll tell you that measurement too here. I just gotta find my little sticky note. Here we go. The very vanilla is three and three quarters by two and a half. And that goes right here. So then you can sign it. So it's like a card too. It's like a card kind of as well as the gift is in there. So our last thing I'm gonna stamp on there is a little something for you. And that's also in this stamp set. So I'll just stamp that right down there. So it's a little something for you, a gift, a gift card. And then um, that's it. Easy peasy. I'm going to pull you back up here for a second. So a quick and simple project, but really useful. Like I know you guys could get a lot of use out of that. So when you're making them, um, go ahead and make like, because you remember you get three out of a sheet of, um, of paper. So clever. Thank you, Susan. Actually, Michelle Litwiller um, helped me with that idea. She is clever too. So I love us working together. So there it is. There's your gift card. My, I know my, my words are backwards today because I forgot to hit a little button before we started. And then once we started, it wouldn't let me hit that button anymore. So anyway, you have to just, you know, it's been a long time since we've been. Hi, Celine, how are you? So here is our gift card. You just pull off your belly band. And then look, at, it's so cute how it opens a little flap. And then inside my is our the gift card, and then a place for you to fill out and sign. So cute and really useful. Remember, what's important, at least for me, if you ever watch um, my videos and watch me stamp, is that we make things that are really cute, but also really easy and very useful. Ones that you actually are going to use. Sharon said, can you give us the, the measurements again? I am gonna put them, I'll actually go right now and type them in and put them in the description of this video so they're written down so you can see it. And, um, but the paper was, the paper started off at four by nine and five eighths. And then I scored it at one and three quarters, four and a half, five and three quarters and seven. So Michelle was spot on. Those were the exact measurements. So that's what we scored it. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for joining me today for a lunch break with Rhonda. It is time for me to get back to work. I already showed all of you what we have going on, lots going on. So it, um, but tomorrow I will be live again at lunch break time, but not here. I will be live in my Creating for Christ group with Rhonda and Julie. So Julie Salva and I have this amazing group with over like almost 7,000 people where we honor Christ with our creativity. 
And every other week, I go in there and do a live. We do a little praying together, a little devotional, and sometimes some creativity too. So hopefully you can join me tomorrow as well, but I love spending my afternoons with you. All right, have a great day. Don't forget, share this, share this video. There's a little share button. Um, you can also sign up for my email list. Everybody asks me, you know, Rhonda, how do I get your classes? Uh, not ninety percent of them always sell out. Too, all of my retreats always sell out. My conventions, um, and a lot of my a lot of my events sell out very quickly. So the the best place to find out about all of the online events I do are on my email list. My email list gets it first. So you can join my email list. I'll post that link as well. So that way. Um, you'll find out when all those classes are and you can register. I offer about three or four or five online classes every month. And so you can pick and choose which ones you want. So anyway, um, I make sure you sign up for my email list and then take some time to be crafty and creative. Create this project and then share that, share that with others. All right, we'll see you later.